Hey, what's up guys? Hey, so today's video is going to be a little different. Instead of working with wood, we're going to be working with metal. Um, so this is going to be an inlay press. And what what I've been working on is, is this wavy flag uh, that I wanted to inlay, V-carve inlay these stars into, and it failed. And there was a couple of reasons why. The main reason is I didn't have a good enough glue up. One being not enough glue, and it just didn't press all the way down. So... This inlay press that I'm gonna make out of metal, it should solve that issue. So, uh, and it's also a great, uh, you know, I have been welded for, man, it's been almost 10 years uh, since I played with my welder. And this was just a, a really good opportunity to get back into doing some metal work. So, uh, yeah, so I had a whole bunch of scrap metal. I had a whole bunch of one by two uh, tubing, uh, some C channel and some plate. Uh, all of this stuff I had on hand, and the, really the only out of cost thing that I had for this uh, this press was just a bottle jack. Uh, originally, I went with a just a 12 ton uh, bottle jack. I ended up upgrading that to a 20, just to give me a little bit more uh, pounds per square inch uh, along this plate. So the clamping pressure for the plate is 12 by 18, and with that 20 ton jack. It should give me right around 180 to 190 uh, pounds per, per square inch. I think that's plenty, especially for hardwood and just, you know, pressing and making sure that I have a really good bond for that, that inlay. I think this thing is going to just be perfect. So um, <clears throat> it's actually, it was really nice to, you know, start working with metal again. I was a, a unionized welder you know, almost 20 years ago. And when I joined the service, I got out of it and, you know, it's it's nice to get back into it and i have a lot of passion with working with metal and i think the channel is going to start showcasing just a little bit more metal work um now you know i'm diving into the deep end here i haven't welded for almost i mean 10 years so it's i'm nervous showing my welds uh, because I took a lot of pride back when I was, you know, in the weld shop, you know, 20 years ago. I had a lot of pride in the, in the quality of work that I produced. Uh, but so this is a great project just to get back into it and start welding a little bit more. And I, I, I definitely enjoyed it. Hey, uh, just before I forget, so this wavy flag, that video should be out here in the next, you know, maybe a couple days. I'm going to finish it up. I, I'm more than positive it's going to be successful after this. And with that video, that's going to be a YouTube giveaway. So if this is your first first time seeing my videos, definitely uh, like, subscribe, turn those notifications on. And when that video comes out, there'll be a little uh, kind of a just a YouTube giveaway. I'm going to give that, that flag away for free. Um, but going back into this, you know, I had a lot, a lot of fun doing this. And, you know, it was a good day project to, to get everything uh, tack welded in get everything assembled and then actually melt in all the steel to, to combine it all so i had a lot of fun with it a little bit of a challenge i had to do a couple things to my welder that thing has been turned on for almost 10 years and <clears throat> had to do a little bit of maintenance to get everything back up and running i ended up blowing everything out and you know i've been woodworking for about five years now that welder was packed full of sawdust <laughs> and dust so I, I took a lot of time and just made sure that nothing was fully fully operational um <clears throat> but yeah so i had a lot of fun doing this and i think you know the the design that i that i picked you know i i, I scoured the internet for different types of presses and you know when i saw this one i was like yep this is this will do so um i had just had a reference picture so i built you know a frame so what you're seeing now is the moving uh plate and there's a reverse plate that's going to be fixed so this bottom is going to be pushing up against the other plate what i really wanted to make sure is i didn't warp anything so i took my time with a lot of this stuff making sure i didn't you know weld in one spot for too long i, I jumped around a lot i ended up doing both plates uh, at the same time uh, but I was really concerned that it was going to kind of warp and, and move on me where the plates wouldn't align. And I wouldn't have two, you know, really flat surfaces coming in the press. So I spent a lot of time on that and just to get everything aligned correctly. And then what I ended up doing before I welded the actual plate on, uh, I just sandwiched the two uh, plates 
uh, just to have really good contact. And then I tack welded everything and then I started welding. Again, jumping around just to make sure I didn't overheat the metal uh, to where it would move or, or warp and, and get all kind of crazy on me. Uh, with, with doing that, everything, you know, stayed really true and the two faces met, uh, exactly the way I wanted it to nice and flat. So again, I, I wasn't very scientific on this. Uh, it was just, I just wanted to make sure it was square and it, it was, uh, completely square, both up and down and left to right. And so at the end of the day, I, th I think I did a pretty good job on it. Um, it didn't really bind up on when the plates were moving. Uh, but again, just take my time with it and, and just enjoying the process. So I ended up using the, the moving plate. And when I, before I welded those, those posts, um, I just put everything in the, and made sure that I had the clearances necessary for it to, to move freely, um, without getting it really crazy tight. Um, for the bottom base, I ended up using C channel and I reversed the middle C channel just to give me a really nice flat, flat edge. And what this did was it basically just really strengthened everything up. And I'm not too concerned with things that are, that are moving, especially with a 20, 20 pound or a, yeah, 20 ton jack. This thing, you know, it could definitely move. It could, de it, it could definitely bend, but I think I have a good enough base where I don't think I'll have an issue with it. So, but yeah, just, uh, just having fun with it. That center, that center plate, you know, I wanted to make sure I had equal pressure when that thing jacked up. Uh, and what I didn't want to do is I, I didn't want to limit myself where I can only have the jack in the middle. I can move that jack around in case I have a smaller part, or if I want a very specific area that I want the pressure in, I can go ahead and do that. So, but yeah, so I'm just making sure nothing's binding and everything is pretty true. And again, you know, taking a, a, a jump off the cliff here, showing my welds again, I haven't welded for a really long time. And, um, but I think I did a pretty good job. Um, and so just testing with a block of wood, there's no inlays with this right now. Um, but I just want to make sure that when it meets the two plates meet, uh, all that center pre pressure is exactly where I want it to be. And again, I can move that bottle jack around, uh, if I really wanted to and, and press a different area. Um, but again, I'm pinpointing, you know, I'm trying to get to that, that 190 to 180, uh, pounds per square inch on that entire plate, that, that 12 by 18 plate. So it is extremely tight and this was that 12 ton jack and ended up just replacing it. I know this is probably overkill and I have to be really, really careful. Um, if I put too much pressure on it, that board could split right in half. So I have to be mindful of that, you know, especially with that 20 pound jack. Um, uh, but I mean, it should, uh, it should work. So, uh, Hey, so that's, that's basically the video for today. Um, make sure you're a subscriber, make sure you have the notifications on, be on the lookout for that wavy flag video. Again, that's going to be a YouTube giveaway. I'm going to give the, the, the wavy flag out, uh, to a lucky uh, subscriber and, uh, yeah. So just be on the lookout for that. So, all right, guys. Well, Hey, uh, have a great weekend and, uh, I appreciate you watching the video and I'll see you next time. Appreciate it guys.